In this video, I want to show you how to install Windows 11 on a USB key. This type of installation is called Windows To Go. For this, you need four things. You need first the Windows 11 ISO file. You need then a USB key that is very fast. And then I'm going to show you what kind of USB key is good for this. Third, you need Rufus. And fourth, you need the Windows 11 activation key. So let's start. First, you need to download Windows 11. So open your web browser and then go to microsoft.com slash software dash download. And here, click on Windows 11 and scroll until you find something called download Windows 11 disk image ISO. So click on the drop down list here and then select Windows 11 and then click on download. It will ask you to choose the language of the Windows 11 ISO file. So here you can choose the language you want. I'm going to choose English for my ISO file. Of course, choose the language you want and then click on confirm. When you click on confirm, it will take you to select the architecture of the Windows 11 ISO file. So here it has only one option, 64-bit. So click on 64-bit download and the download begins. So the download is a little bit big, so it's 5.1 gigabyte as you see. I previously downloaded the ISO file of Windows 11, so I'm going to cancel it. Of course, if you don't have the ISO file of Windows 11, do not cancel this. So I'm going to use the one I downloaded earlier. So this is how to download the ISO file. Now, the second thing is to get a good USB key. When I say good USB key, I mean a USB key that is really fast. So like this sand disk here, let me switch to full screen so that you can see it. So this sand disk extreme pro here, for instance, is a very fast USB key. By the way, I made a comparison of the sand disk extreme pro and with the Samsung Bar Plus USB key, which is also very good, but the SanDisk Extreme Pro is faster. You can look in the description for the link for the review. My advice to you is to get a USB key that is as fast as this SanDisk Extreme Pro, because if you get a USB key, like for instance, a USB key that is basic, like this Data Traveler from Kingston, even though it is a 3.0 USB key, it will take hours and hours before it finishes. So this is my advice for the USB key. Now, the third thing to do is to download Rufus. So let me switch back to my screen recording. And here, open a new tab and go to rufus.ie and hit enter. And scroll to almost the middle of the page. And you see Rufus portable here. Click on it. At the time of this video, it is 3.16. So the version might be different when you see this video. Nevertheless, click on the version here and the download of Rufus begins. It is a very small download. So now Rufus is downloaded and we have our ISO file and we have our USB key. So now insert the USB key in your PC. Of course, choose a 3.0 port USB key in your PC. So now I inserted it. It is empty. Now be careful. The USB key that you will be using, it will be completely white. So please make sure that you don't need the information that is on the USB key. So let me close everything here. And now that everything is closed, we need to run Rufus. So it is in the downloads folder. Let's go to the downloads folder. And then you see here Rufus. You need to double click it to launch it. Click yes if prompted. And click yes once again here so that it will check for updates. And now in Rufus, you need to select the USB key. So make sure you're selecting the right one. Here I have only one USB key. And here you can select the ISO file that we just downloaded. Alternatively, Rufus also gives you the option to download the Windows 11 ISO file directly from within the dialog box of Rufus. So to do this, you need to select the drop down arrow here and then download and then click on download. Give it like a couple of seconds. And here you choose Windows 11 and then you click continue. But I do not advise you to do this because sometimes it cuts in the middle of the download. So here we downloaded the ISO file. So we need to select the ISO file. So switch back to select here 
and then click on select and let me go to where I put my ISO file of course browse here to where you put your ISO file so for me it is under this folder so this is the ISO file I downloaded earlier so select your ISO file here and then click on open so when you select the ISO file Rufus gives you the image option selection here so click on the drop down arrow here and then select Windows to go and leave everything by default and then click on start here depending on the license key that you have for your Windows 11 installation choose the edition of Windows you have for me I have a license key for Windows 11 Pro so I'm gonna choose Windows 11 Pro and then click on OK it will ask you here if you're sure you want to continue because everything on the USB key will be white so click on OK if you are sure once again please make sure you don't need the information on your USB key and you see it starts now because I put the SanDisk Extreme Pro the operation will be extremely fast but nevertheless not to make you wait I'm gonna cut this video and come back when this operation is almost finished so now the operation is almost finished as you see it took almost no more than 10 minutes for me so now everything is finished when you get the ready message here just click on close and now you need to get your license key for Windows 11 and I'm gonna switch to an external camera so that I can show you how to start the PC with the USB key and how to configure Windows so first insert the USB key into the PC so this is a 3.0 port here in the PC after inserting the USB key in the PC you need to start the PC from the USB key so I'm gonna start the PC and because this is a Dell computer I'm gonna press F12 to choose the USB key to boot from of course choose the hot boot key for your own laptop or PC I'm gonna leave in the description a list of hot boot keys of popular hot boot keys so in the boot menu choose the USB key to start from under UEFI boot so here it is the SanDisk for me I chose it and then press enter and the PC will start from the USB key so the first time you start the PC from the USB key Windows will detect the services and the devices and it will update itself to work on this PC and if you change the PC of course it will detect the services also so don't worry if it takes a little bit of time if you change PCs and you start from the USB key this is normal so just wait for it and now this is the Windows 11 configuration screen here you need to do this only once so this configuration I'm showing you now you need to do it only once so here choose your country I'm gonna choose United States for me and then for the keyboard of course choose your keyboard also layout it is US for me and I don't want to add another keyboard so this is a Windows 11 configuration a normal configuration I'm gonna connect it to the network here for instance so choose the network here you want to connect it to and click next to connect to the network and then click next once again give it a minute to check for updates and here this is a license agreement so feel free to read it and then click on accept and here you need to name your device so I'm gonna name it KST USB of course name it whatever you want So now continue the configuration of Windows 11 I'm gonna click on setup for personal use here and then click on next so I will log in with my knowledge sharing Outlook account of course use your own account to log in to Windows here and once you select the user and password click on sign in and wait for it to sync and here it will ask you to create a pin so create a pin and then confirm your pin and then click on OK and then here it will ask me because I logged in before with my user 
if I want to set up a new device or if I want to restore my settings. So I'm going to click on set up a new device. Next. And then here I like to turn off everything for privacy. So feel free to choose whatever you want. And then once you choose whatever you want, click on accept. And then here I also don't like to tell Microsoft for what purpose I'm using my PC. So I'm just going to click on skip. And then here also I don't want to back up to OneDrive. So just click on don't back up my files, click next. And then I don't want Microsoft Office. And now, as you see, this is Windows 11 started from the USB key on a PC. So now you can take this USB key and start it on any PC you want. So now I'm going to show you how to activate it. So click on the start here and then click on settings. And here you see under system you have activation and now it says it is active because I logged in with a user that has a digital license key. So my knowledge sharing account has a digital license key. In case it is not activated here, you simply click on change product key and then you put the product key that you have for Windows 11 and then you click on next and it will be activated. So now I shut down the PC and I remove the USB key. I'm trying to start the PC from the internal hard drive. It will give me an error and this is predictable and don't panic if you receive this error. It is very easy to fix it. So simply shut down the PC and this happens only once and it happens only on the PC where you start the USB key to for the first time. And this is how you fix it permanently. So restart the PC and while it is restarting, press the F12 key or whatever hot boot key you have to start the boot menu and simply choose the hard drive of the PC. As you see here, it is my TC Sunbow hard drive. So choose it. It will start from the hard drive and it will start normally. And now Windows, it will fix the Windows Boot Manager. So now each time you start the PC, let me show it to you. So I'm going to shut it down completely and now I'm going to restart the PC and I'm not going to touch anything on the keyboard and you see it will restart normally. So if you start your USB key from another PC, it will give you that your pin is no longer available due to a change to the security settings on this device. And this is because it detected a hardware change. So simply click on set up my pin and here it will ask you to log in with your Microsoft account. So enter the password for your Microsoft account and hit enter and then click on continue and here simply put a pin. So this is a new pin for this PC and then click on OK. And here's Windows 11 started. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and hope to see you in the next video.